Sometimes it's hard for sure when I want to go out, have fun. But other times, I mean, I see how he lives his life and how he centers God around everything he does and it really inspires me to kind of be like that. I can see my dad retired and going on mission trips and spreading the word of God throughout the whole world and just changing people's lives. Karam is, to me, a personal brother and friend. It's seeing and living with him and working with him and proclaiming with him and, and evangelizing with him that you get to see him not just behind the podium, but also in the background as well. His life and his mission to give God the glory through his family, as well as through his ECRC family, as well as through his mission to do God's work. You really see a beautiful man, and I'm proud to call him a brother. ECRC stands for Eastern Catholic Re-Evangelization Center. It's a nonprofit organization that was founded in 2001. It was founded by a dear sister in ministry, Niran Carmel, Father Frank Calabet back then, Bishop Francis now, and myself. We started that little thing that we thought, hey, this is going to be something that could help us individually, could help our families, and also could help others come to know Christ. It's interesting, the beginning was really, we came from different backgrounds. I was very uh, invested in to find an outlook for my children who were gonna be teenagers soon, and there was nothing in the church at the time. Karam came from the background, was challenged with his faith, and he did not have answers. The, the kind of the pure intention of first work on yourself, like you're gonna work on yourself. It's not like, I'm gonna convert people. You have to do this for your spirituality. It's not that. First is here. And Karam was challenged and we, were, we worked the journey together. He went and wanted to learn more and so therefore he started to study. Uh, and this is where at ECRC we started bringing in theology classes. That interested him even more where he got a philosophy degree. After he finished his philosophy degree, a bachelor's, and then he got a theology master's degree. But the initial qualification is love for Jesus and a zeal to make Jesus known. And therefore, that's what pushed him to, to move forward, to look more, to read more, to study more, to pray more, to prepare more, and to have a better understanding so that they can give something greater. Since ECRC began, it's had the blessing of our Chaldean Church to serve as a branch of evangelization through lay people like you and myself, to bring Jesus to the world in different ways with different ministries that we provide here. Now, 22 years later, we have our own building. The center is open five to six days a week, serving our community, conducting retreats, conducting marriage prep for our diocese, conducting programs in English and in Arabic to really bring people to the heart of Jesus. We now serve over 3,000 people a year in this ministry, with over 250 volunteers. And there's so much thanks to Karam in that, because if this man didn't have this idea, have this brave courage to start something that he might have never thought would have been as big as it is today, it really is beautiful to see the fruit of his prayer, of his ministry, of his talents, of his time, of his treasures, truly. He takes that to a different level. And I don't see that ever ending with him. I think evangelization is on his heart and he really is someone that wants to share everything he has. World Youth Day is an international activity. It's an activity that was started by St. John Paul II. The idea behind it is to bring youth from all over the world to renew them in the faith. One thing I really came home with is the idea of the magnitude of our faith. It was a beautiful thing to see almost a couple million of the youth from all over the world all gathered for the same purpose. I thought it would be a great opportunity to grow in my faith and to get to see the Pope, to experience World Youth Day was a very humbling experience and I'm so happy that I got to be a part of it. 
the fact that they are surrounded by over 1.5 million youth from all over the world coming in to show their faith, to show their love to Christ and to His church, sends a very strong statement to them that they're not alone in this journey. Pope John Paul II said, where there is a church where the lay people are involved in spreading the faith, you have a complete church. Karam is the church. The priest is the church. The bishop is the church. The lay person is the church. It's always working together towards a goal, and that's Jesus Christ. Well, you're learning every day of your life. You learn when you hear something. You learn when you read something. But most importantly, you learn when you teach something. Learning is a lifelong journey. And every day of it, we learn something new.